from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Dee O'Reilly. We'll check in with Greg in just a second for a look at your forecast. But right now, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. New video from Largo where officers are searching for the driver who hit a bicyclist last night and then drove off. Police say as the SUV turned from 142nd Avenue North onto Frontage Road, it hit the cyclist who was passing through the intersection. The victim is in critical condition. There is no description of the SUV involved, but we keep checking for updates. We'll pass them on to you as soon as we get them. St. Pete police are working to identify a body that was found burning in an alley next to a burning trash can. We've been following this one since yesterday. While the state fire marshal's office is looking into arson, we're told the police are treating this as a homicide. Neighbors near Emerson Avenue that we spoke with tell us that they're terrified, understandably, and they're concerned. Police are asking anyone who lives in the area and has home surveillance video to contact them. The CDC has issued a warning not to eat raw oysters after two men in Florida died. Investigators say the, death, uh, the deaths were linked to rare bacterial infections that oysters can carry called vibriosis. This year in Florida alone, 26 people have become infected. Six people have died. The symptoms include diarrhea and vomiting, but they can also cause more severe problems. The CDC says an oyster that contains this dangerous bacteria doesn't look, smell, or even taste any different from any other oyster. The only way to kill the possible bacteria is to fully cook oysters. The Tampa City Council passed a resolution supporting a person's right to privacy when it comes to getting an abortion, but there is some controversy surrounding it. The resolution says the City Council won't grant money for any action that criminalizes residents for making reproductive health decisions. But the city's legal department added a line that reads, except as may be required by state or federal law. Councilwoman Lynn Hurtak was against that and voted against the resolution, which passed by a 5-2 to two margin. A federal judge ruled that parts of Florida's law restricting conversations about race in schools and the workplace is unconstitutional. Governor Ron DeSantis pushed for the Republican-led legislature to pass the Stop Woke Act. The law prevents teachings or mandatory workplace activities suggesting a person is privileged or oppressed based on their race, sex, or national origin. The judge ruled parts of the law violated the First and Fourteenth Amendments. The state is expected to appeal the ruling. The Bucks are getting ready for their second preseason game. They finish up their last joint practice with the Tennessee Titans yesterday afternoon. They will take the day off today. Tom Brady still taking time away for the team and does not have a return date announced just yet. The Bucks are set to take the field tomorrow night at 7 in Tennessee. And Greg, hopefully it's cooler there than it is here. A little bit, uh, at least a few degrees, less humid, and certainly the nights will be more comfortable up there in middle Tennessee over towards Nashville. Our temperatures in the 90s, morning lows in the 70s and 80s, and we are going to see that chance of rain as we go into the midday today. Some pop-ups in the afternoon, though most of the activity is going to be east of I-75. This weekend, the rain chances change timing. We'll get all our storms in the evenings. That means the days on Saturday and Sunday, they're going to be hot. Take a look at your complete seven day forecast right now in the ABC Action News app. Do you? All right. Thank you, Greg. You can now get news 24 hours a day on ABC Action News Plus. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV and Apple TV.